Hello, in this video I would like to go over the timer configuration, how to put timer into the programming mode and how to program it. Um, we got a number of uh, feedbacks from our customers and some of them said it was easy, some of them said configuration is uh, hard and they don't understand it. So we'd like to go uh, first of all quick through the programming steps and then we go into the details. First of all, we have the circuit that we connect it uh, based on the initial picture it, from the manual. Basically, power goes to the timer, the output goes to the light, um, and that's about it. So what we're going to do first, so uh, if you read the steps here, the steps uh, put the timer into the programming mode by connecting both white and green wire to the ground. Then once we're in the programming mode we will the first step is configure timing we will configure t1 and then t2 then we go to the next step for function where we set up timer function and trigger mode uh, step three and four uh, is the output and programming mode if you don't need to change them you really don't have to go there so let's try that so first of all we take the we're gonna uh, change the timer uh, uh, to the function three and disabled trigger so this is the f uh, flashing mode. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take the green and white wires, hold it to the ground and supply power. And light comes on for three seconds. And that tells us it's in, in a programming mode. So the first step is to configure T1 and T2. So we, for the T1, we're gonna take the white wire and hold it to the ground for the time we need. So let's say we need it for three seconds. And let's say T2, we need it for one second. So we just hold it for one second. So we're done with this step number one. Now we need to go to the step number two. And to go to the step number two, we need to take both wires, the green and white, and connect them to the ground for just a short period of time. The light comes on for three seconds, tells us it went to the next mode. And now we can configure the function. For the function, we need to set to three. So we take the white wire and touch the to the touch the ground three times. One, two, three, and we see the feedback from the light. And then uh, trigger, we take a green wire and touch it once. It's disabled trigger. And at this point, we really don't need to go into the output and programming mode because it's uh, default values. But if we need to change the output, we need to go to the next step, so to step number three, and we take both wires, touch it to the ground, light comes on, and then we take the white wire and touch it once. And uh, we set the output to normal. At this state, we can just turn the power off and turn the power back on, and uh, we program it to the function three and about three seconds uh, on and off uh, period. So the so here, here it is, here are the steps to program the timer uh, really uh, easy. If you need to reprogram it, uh, you'll go into the programming mode. So let's say we need to change the timing. We're gonna put the timer into the programming mode by holding the two wires to the ground. Light comes on, we're in programming mode. So let's say we need to change the T1 to a one second or half a second. So we're just gonna touch the white wire to the uh, ground and release and at this time since we don't need to change anything we can just power it off and power back on and now we have our flashing uh, this about one second cycle so let's look at the programming in details so again to go into the programming mode you need to take the white and green wires and uh, connect them to the ground and supply power and then uh, after that, we're going to go through the steps. So again, uh, here's the uh, simplified steps. The first step is to put the timer into the programming mode. And we're going to take the green wine wires, hold them to the ground, and then supply power. And then once we're in the programming mode, we need to configure the first step, T1 and T2. T1 and T2. Once we've done that, we need to move to the next configuration, which is the function. The step number two is the function. So we move to the next configuration. 
we configure function and a trigger, then we move to the next configuration, configure the output, then we move to the next configuration and configure the programming mode and uh, we just turn the power off and it's everything saved into the internal memory. So let's uh, do it one more time. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm going to configure the timer to the mode 12 where when we supply the power nothing happens then when trigger we're gonna make a trigger uh, connect to the positive so it will be active on the highs signal so when we connect the signal when we connect that trigger to the high the output will turn on and will stay on once we release the trigger we disconnect it from the positive the, the light is going to stay for extra five seconds and you can use it for, for let's say automotive use if you want for, with ignition uh, uh, on for let's say your light comes on or your GPS unit or some other device comes on and when you turn the ignition off you want that device to be powered on for a period of time could be 30 seconds could be an hour uh, it depends how you set it up but uh, this is what the function 12 does of delay so let's try that so first of all we're going to take the two wires connect them to the ground and supply power and light is going to uh, turn on you don't have to disconnect the wires uh, as long as you hold the wires, the light is going to stay on, and that's a good indication that you're in a programming mode. Let's disconnect it. And uh, as soon as you disconnect it, the light is going to go off. So that's, uh, we're definitely in a programming mode. So the first step is, uh, is uh, configure T1. So T1, we're going to use the white wire, connect it to the ground, and we're going to, as we said, we're going to set it to 5 seconds. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So we set it to the five seconds and disconnect it. Now we need to move to the next uh, configuration. And we take both wires and connect them to the ground. And light gonna stay on if you're gonna keep them to the ground. That's again, good uh, indication that you're in the next uh, programming uh, step. So now we're gonna, we're going to set the function and a trigger so the function will be 12 so we will take the white wire and connect it 12 times one two three twelve and then we're going to take the green wire and we need to set a trigger to two the two is uh, the trigger active at the, on the high signal and since we don't need to change the output, uh, we're just going to disconnect the power. And uh, we're done. We're going to connect it back. And we have no light. So we're going to take the blue wire and connect it to the positive. Like ignition is on. And as long as uh, you're holding it, the timer doesn't count down. As soon as you release it, the timer is going to start, uh, start count down to 5. Uh, and shut the, the light. If we turn again ignition on or connect the blue to the uh, positive and disconnect, it starts count down. But if we connect it again, it resets the timer every time you connect it uh, to the positive. And you can see it in the chart. So basically, if we keep connecting the wire, the trigger to the positive, uh, it will reset the timer. Now, if you want to change configuration back, we can easily do that. Let's say we want to change it to a three. Again, we're gonna we're going through the steps of uh, putting the timer into the programming mode, shorting two wires to the ground, supplying power, light comes on, releasing wires from the ground. Uh, we're gonna set up the time to one second. One T two we we don't need for the function 3 so we're just going to move to the next step take both wires connect it to the ground so we in the function mode we are changing function to 3 so touch the uh, ground 3 times 
and uh, since our trigger was set to two we need to reset it otherwise it's uh, it's still going to set to uh to a two to disable the trigger you need to set it to a one so we just touch the green wire uh to the ground once and that's it disconnect the power connect the power back and we have now our cycling light So now I'm going to demonstrate the same configuration steps, but with our optional board, which has two buttons, one and two. One is the white wire and two is the green wire. Uh, to go into the programming steps, uh, it's a little easier here. Uh, you just push two, uh, two buttons, which uh, subsequently connecting the white and green to the ground and supply power. And as long as you're holding them down, the light is going to stay on. So we release the wires, uh, release the buttons in this case. Uh, if we want to set the uh, timing to half a second, we just uh, push the white, uh, the first button once, short, or we can hold it to uh, two seconds. So you can do it multiple times. If you want to get the exact uh, timing, you can try it multiple times. So let's say we want to really fast. Uh, so we set the T1, now we need to move to the next step, we hold, we push both buttons at the same time. It's not really important to push at the same time, as long as you push one wire, one button and then the second uh, button, that will work. But if you push uh, the button once and release it, and then push the number two, that's going to change your timing. So let's go back again. If I'll go into the programming mode. Right, holding both of them. Release. If I'll push the on the button once, it sets the timing. If I push on the button once and now now push the second button while I'm holding the the button number one, it just goes into the next step. It will not change the timing. So uh, you need to push both. Uh, uh, buttons but it doesn't have to be at the same time exactly because you can you can never do that uh, so let's do it one more time push two buttons supply power release we're going to push the button once then we push them two buttons at the same time goes to next mode we setting up the function to a uh, three one, two, three, and let's say we want to set the trigger to a two now. Push two, uh, push two times, and that's it. We disconnect the power, and we connect it back, and the light doesn't blink because it waits for the trigger. We take the trigger and connect it to the positive, and it starts our cycle.